So people on the internet have been talking about the Kingdom performances being completely unbiased and then they put their faves right at the top when it comes to the performance and I'm like, that's suspicious. That's weird. So I thought today I would talk about all the Kingdom intro performances. I thoroughly enjoyed every single group's performances. So I'm not going to be ranking any of the performances today because I know, I know for a fact that I am going to be biased. And I can't help it. And I know a lot of people can't help it either. So yeah, don't be too hard on yourself if you're being biased. So the first performance was ATs. Icon chose ATs to go first because they are the Makne group. So I really love ATs. They are one of my favorite boy groups. Maybe like not at the top, but I really do like them a lot. And I've been a fan of them since debut. Like yes, I've loved their like I've loved them since debut. So that is amazing and 80s even debuted a day after my birthday so that is pretty cool so 80s's performance i actually really really enjoyed their performances um when i watched 80s's performance i was like yes these boys they embody the pirate concept so perfectly it's like the pirate concept was made for 80s and 80s only and it was just such a fun performances and i feel like when san was running through the stage with the torch i don't know it kind of took me out of it i was like what but at the same time i really enjoyed it and i thought the performance came together really really nicely i really felt bad for the ats members because i feel like they were being too hard on themselves especially hong jung i feel like they did a really really good job and i know that they want to do even better which is a good thing but i was really proud of them and i thought ats did really really well and they should give themselves more credit after 80s, we have B2B. I'm pretty sure a lot of the new K-pop stands are completely unfamiliar with B2B. So when they did not dance or jump around everywhere, they were disappointed. But, but, yeah, there is a but. Not one of those, but another but. And that is, um, hear me out. This might be controversial. This might be too much for you to handle. But a good performance isn't just jumping around and doing crazy choreography okay a good performance comes in all shapes and sizes it could be the vocals it could be the dancing it could be the rapping it could be the stage presence okay one factor alone does not defy a good performance like i get it dancing is a major big thing when it comes to fourth gen groups i feel like when it comes to fourth gen k-pop the main focus isn't the vocals but rather the dancing that's why every single k-pop group that debuts nowadays the choreo is always intense and insane levels of complicated which isn't a bad thing that's great i feel like i really enjoy that b2b their main strength is vocals now that does not mean they cannot dance because they can dance i know that they can dance they can rap they can sing they can make people laugh they are literally one of the most talented people to ever exist so to see muse k-pop stands not really appreciate them and i'm like yeah your rat behavior it's it's showing it's it's very showing yeah honestly b2b they were singing angels like that's the best way to describe b2b's performance they were literal singing angels like, they were dressed in white and Ung Kong and Min uh harmonization, that was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, their singing was just too good for words. B2B really showcased that they're really good vocalists, but I know that they can do even better than this. So I'm really excited what they have to show for us in the future. Really excited for B2B because I feel like they are going to you know, show so many incredible sides of them. So I'm really excited. Then we have SF9. Oh, I have got so much to say so much to vent so let's begin so sf9 like b2b got criticized and you know people were basically saying that they did not really have a concept or that their performance wasn't that good or interesting because they did not do crazy choreo and dancing like the other groups and i'm like like honestly warms for brains warms for brains i'm sorry and i'm not saying this just because sf9 is my old group like objectively speaking it was a good performance as their dancing was sharp it was synchronized their vocals were really really good as usual the charisma was there the stage presence were there the only issue you could say was when Young's mic fell off maybe that but objectively speaking it was a good performance maybe subjectively speaking it's not your favorite performance that's completely fine okay maybe you know it wasn't your favorite you liked other performances better because the other performances suited to your taste better that's completely fine i have nothing against that however the fact that for the past 
the month or so people are claiming that SF9 did not turn in a good performance, that is horseshit. I am sorry, it is. They think that jumping around, doing acrobats, that is a good performance. Like, I'm sorry, it isn't. Doing acrobat and cool, like crazy choreography does not necessarily make you a good dancer. Hitting really high notes does not necessarily make you a good singer, technically. And SF9, they did something different. They did something different than the other groups. And just because they did not conform to it, their, I don't know, their performance wasn't as good. Like, what? I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Like, I'm sorry if I'm being so ranty right now. But it's like, it's like, it's, it really is worms for brains. However, there are people who did watch SF9's performance and they praised them because they did something different and they didn't do what everybody else was doing. So yeah, not all of you, not all of you are weasels. So that's, that's good. That's, that's really good. But yeah, I really loved SF9's performance. I was really, really proud of them. Good Guy is one of my favorite songs for them. And the whole Kingsman suit concept is just so good. And they look so good. They look sexy. They, I don't know, the performance, I really, really liked it. And I cannot stress this enough that a good performance does not mean you have to do crazy choreo. Like B2B and SF9, they did something different. They did it really well. If it's not for you, that's fine. But don't just sit here and claim that it wasn't a good performance or objectively speaking, it wasn't good or interesting or entertaining. Like seriously, get out of here with that. My God, Kingdom has barely begun and my blood pressure is already soaring like insane levels of high. I don't even know what's gonna happen next week. You know what, I'm just gonna stay away from Stan Twitter because I feel like I see this bullshit, especially on Stan Twitter and sometimes on YouTube and I'm like, I just wanna leave the internet forever. So there's that. But I can't because SF9 and I have to be in touch with everything and voting and whatnot. Oh, it's such a mess. Okay, um, then we have Stray Kids and Stray Kids' performance was also really good. So far, Stray Kids seems to have mowed the most views for their performance. So really happy for them. They did really, really well. I really liked their performance. It was like a werewolf kind of performance and I feel like they put a lot of effort into this kind of concept. Not only that, but the extra effort for the tattoos on their bodies and everything, it really, really paid off. It was really, really good. I feel like I really liked Sungmin's vocals. Like Sungmin came onto stage and he was like, yeah, I am main vocal material. Like Sungmin killed it. I really liked that. I don't have much to say about Stray Kids other than that, that they really did a good job and I'm very proud of them. Then we have The Boys. Ugh, I love The Boys. I feel like after SF9, my second favorite group in Kingdom is The Boys. And honestly, the first time I watched it, I did not retain much from it. Like, I didn't remember it much. All I remembered is that they looked really good. But upon rewatching the performance, it was really good. Like, on the second viewing, it was really, really good, in my opinion. It was dark and elegant. Like, I've noticed that people who talk about the boys, 80s, and Stray Kids' performance, they have this one criticism that all three performances are the exact same just because they all wore dark clothing and they look like emo boys. However, I cannot help but disagree, mainly because I feel like the boys' performances, despite being dark, it was dark in the sense that it was elegant, and I really, really liked that. So even if people are saying that the boys, 80s, and Stray Kids had the same kind of performances, I wouldn't really call it that. Maybe the same kind of aesthetic, but not necessarily the same kind of, you know, technical arrangements, or the dancing, or the singing, like stuff like that. And not only that, but this arrangement of the song that they did, it reminded me of like classical music, that made it sound like really, really beautiful. So I really enjoyed the boys' performances. I'm really, really proud of them. And I can't wait to see what else they're gonna do. Then we have Icon, and Icon is the kingdom group I am the least familiar with. So I need to get that out of the way. I don't know any of the members, but, but I did think their performance was a whole lot of fun. Like it reminded me so much of old school Monster X. And I, I guess that's because uh, Icon and Monster X debuted around the same time. So that kind of stuff was probably like trending or popping at the time. I could be wrong. So there's that. And yeah, Icon's performance was the most fun and relaxed. And I really liked that, okay? Not every single performance needs to be complicated and just, you know, t you know, filled with acrobats. Like, I cannot stress that enough, like, okay? That alone does not make a good performance. So yeah, I had a fun time with Icon's performance. It's like I was watching 
a concert performance and they did really really well and honestly when they formed the pyramid thing at the end that was so cool but honestly i thought a lot of thought was put into it that made it really really good are there some performances i like more than others yes there are but overall i feel like every group did a good job and honestly the competition it hasn't even begun it hasn't even begun okay because it's gonna start i would say in two to three days when the actual round one performances happen about that sf9 placed fourth and i'm really really proud of them because i was worried that they were gonna be in the bottom two so i really hope that's not the case for the upcoming rounds i don't need sf9 to win the competition like i would love them i would love that for them but all I really want is SF9 to have a good time and to prove to people that they are good performers and that they're very talented and everything, you know? Oh, and another thing, SF9, yeah, they can do acrobats, okay? They can do acrobats if they wanted to. Like, look at Jungle Game, but they didn't do it because, I don't know, they've outgrown that or something. So, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the Kingdom performances, which one was your favorite, and yeah, try to be civil in the comment section below. Please do not encourage any fan wars because ugh, because I feel like I'm too old for that. Like I'm 23, okay? I don't have time to be fighting with K-pop stands of all things on the internet. Granted, I'm one as well. Ugh. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.